Hey everyone, you're watching Ruth Getting Things Done and you will see how I built this desk for my home learning classroom. I found the plans on EnnaWhite.com and purchased the wood at my local hardware store. I was pressed for time so I also had them cut the wood for me using Anna White's cutlass. Here I am pre-drilling the wood that will be serving as the desk legs. With the assistance of my lovely niece Misha, I am screwing two inches and a half long screws at the bottom of the wood pieces. It is recommended by Anna to use a Craig pocket hole jig. I didn't want the extra expense of buying a pocket hole system for just this desk. But after building this desk for 12 hours, I may reconsider it for more future wood building projects. With the pocket hole system, I could easily drill a hole without the assistance of another person. But during these 12 hours, I got to spend time with my niece on a deeper level and she learned a few drilling and screwing tips from me. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet now, but in the next few minutes, you will watch me continue building the desk legs and shelf supports. Be a dear and hit the like button, y'all. Like, 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 like. <laughs> oh, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe. To tell you the truth, guys, I wasn't even going to build a desk. I was actually forced to build this desk. I tried purchasing desks from Ikea, Target, Walmart, even Amazon. The kind I was looking for was all sold out. I remember that not all is lost, I can actually put a couple of wood together and create something. So I hopped onto AnnaWhite.com and found lots of beautiful desk plans. I came across this one and downloaded it and I printed the free PDF version and ran over to Home Depot and purchased the wood. The door cost me $45.86. The two by twos cost me $1.88. I bought eight pieces, so the total of the two by twos came up to $15.84. The wood alone is totaled at $66.02, that's it with including tax. And of course, I also had to purchase the hardware, which is the two inch and a half screws. I, I will also include a list of what I purchased to build this desk down below in the description box. If you want to see more videos like this, please comment down below. I know how to build park benches, tables, even bookshelves. I am also searching for plans online to build a bunk bed for my children's bedroom.
This part will be the shelves which adds more storage for the desk. Everybody hates Chris. <laughs> Man, I love that show. This part is flimsy and tricky. If you will attempt to build this desk, make sure you have someone to assist you with this part. Now, it's time to bring in the door. I would not use it at the moment, but the desk legs were getting very long and taking up space, so I would just lean the door against the wall. When I am going to need it, my niece and I can just pick it up and place it on top of the legs. I am just adding more screws to make the legs more sturdy. And now the shelves. My husband cut a piece of plywood in half to fit the trim's dimensions. Make sure to follow the plan's dimensions for the plywood or it will look like my bottom shelf with gaps between the trims. Isn't my niece a very good help? I truly appreciate you, my dear Misha. And now the door. I am not strong enough to drill and screw through the door, so I asked my husband to help and he did a very fine job. It's time to paint. We added three coats of white paint on the legs and three coats of dark gray paint on the top of the desk. Be a dear and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.